Malaysian food doesn't get the global recognition it deserves. But the fact is, this stuff is good, the sum of many delicious parts. Malaysian cuisine's influences include Chinese, Indian and Malay. In some ways it's similar to Indonesian food, with the two nations sharing many of the same dishes. Warning, debates over dish origins can turn nasty in these parts such as the passion of the region's food lovers. Regardless, once you're in Malaysia and eating, you'll quickly dispense with historical concerns and wonder instead where your next meal is coming from and how you can you get to it sooner. To help narrow your choices here are 20 of Malaysia's top dishes, in no particular order. Number 1, Mi Goreng. This Indian Muslim dish is the complete package. Yellow noodles. Beef or chicken. Shrimp. Soy sauce, veggies and eggs. A bit of chile tossed in for an irresistible jolt, sounds simple, right? Sadly, you can try to replicate this one at home but it's just not going to taste the way it did when you chad down at that gritty Malaysian hawker stall. Number 2. Appam Balik. You haven't truly experienced Malaysian food until you thrill your taste buds with this sweet treat, a pancake-style snack wedded with the compact package of an omelette, Appam Balik is stuffed with more than a sufficient amount of sugar, peanuts, and the occasional sprinkle of corn it's a dish that's constantly being reinvented. Number 3. Nasi Karabu. If the blue rice doesn't spark your curiosity, the lines of people around the country waiting to order this favorite Kelantanese dish should. From the state of Kelantan in northern peninsular Malaysia, Nasi Karabu gets its eye-grabbing color from telung flowers, which are crushed and mixed into flour. The aquamarine dish is topped with bean sprouts and fried coconut, then drenched in spicy budu, a fermented fish sauce. In true Kelantan style, you use your hands to dig into this one. Number 4. Nasi Lemak. Some call Nasi Lemak Malaysia's unofficial national dish. Everyone else calls it delicious, Nasi Lemak is basically rice cooked in coconut milk. But it's the sides that matter, depending on where you are in Malaysia, it comes with a variety of accompaniments such as hard-boiled egg, peanuts, vegetables, lamb slash chicken slash or beef curry, seafood and sambal, chili-based sauce. Nasi lemak is traditionally eaten for breakfast, but these days people are ordering it any time of day. Number 5. Nasi Kandar. Nasi Kandar is essentially rice served with your choice of toppings, which commonly include curry, fish, egg and okra. Everything is laid out buffet style. Though you can also order a la carte, found all over Malaysia, nasi kandar eateries are extremely popular, most open 24 hours and run by ethnic Indian Muslims. Number 6. Laksa. A staple of Malaysian cuisine, laksa eateries have been migrating abroad, making appearances in Bangkok, Shanghai and further afield, there are multiple variations. For anyone who enjoys a taste of the volcanic kind, this spicy noodle soup can get you there in its curry form, some like it with fish, others prawns. Our favorite is Penang's Assam Laksa, in which tamarind features heavily, Assam is Malay for tamarind, to create a spicy sour fish broth. Number 7. Satay. Though considered by many to be a dish native to Thailand, satay is actually believed to have originated in Indonesia. Origins aside, can we all just agree that meat on a stick is good, Malaysia has its own variations of the grilled skewers, served nationwide in chicken, beef or pork forms, the latter in non-Muslim venues only. Sauces vary from region to region, including the peanut sauce that's loved the world over. Number 8. Kaya Toast. Kaya is a sweet and fragrant coconut custard jam, slathered onto thin slices of warm toast with ample butter. It's as divine as it sounds, particularly when downed with a cup of thick black coffee. Many locals have this for breakfast supplemented by two soft-boiled eggs with soy sauce and pepper. Number 9. Ice Kachong. 
Shaved ice desserts are always a popular treat in the tropics. Ice kachong, ice with beans, evolved from the humble ice ball drenched with syrup to be the little ice mountains served in a bowl, drizzled with creamed corn, condensed milk, gula malaka, and brightly colored syrups. Dig into it and you'll discover other goodies hidden within red beans, palm seeds, and cubed jellies. Number 10. Wanton Mee. You'll find variations of wanton mee, a dish of Chinese origin, all over Asia, but the one in Penang stands out. Springy egg noodles are served al dente with a sticky sauce made from soy sauce and lard oil. A spoonful of fiery sambal is added to the side. It's topped with pieces of leafy green Chinese kale, sliced green onions, pickled green chilies and wontons. The wontons are either boiled or steamed, as you'll find them elsewhere in Malaysia, or fried, in a unique Penang twist. Number 11. Key. Variety, variety, variety that's way to explore key, or Malay-style pastries. Small enough to snap up in a gulp and sugary enough to give you a modest jitter, key vendors are the most colorful stalls of all. This kaleidoscope of soft, sugary morsels goes quickly few pieces are left by the time daylight begins to fade. Number 12. Rendang, beef, chicken, or lamb. Though sometimes erroneously called a curry, Malaysian food aficionados point out that this chunky cauldron of coconut milk and spices is nothing of the sort. The difference is in how it's prepared, slowly simmered, to let the meat absorb the spices, until the rosy liquid completely evaporates. A favorite, especially during festive seasons, rundang is found across Malaysia. Number 13. Roti John. Whoever John was, it's apparent that he preferred his sandwiches made with grilled minced meat and egg in the middle of slim bread, and drowned in a confection of condiments, mayonnaise, ketchup, barbecue and chile sauce, choose one or choose them all. Number 14. Papia Besa, wet spring roll, dot, a hefty sort of spring roll, Papia Besa speaks to those in need of the familiar crispy snack but without the added oil, not to be confused with wet rolls found in parts of Vietnam, Papia Besa comes complete with its own regional specific flavor. In place of lettuce, the Malay wet spring roll has turnips, fried onions, and bean sprouts. Number 15. Sambal Yudang. Sambal Yudang is a Paranakan dish, created by descendants of 15th and 16th century Chinese immigrants, the Baba Nyonya people, also known as Paranakan or Straits Chinese, are mainly of Chinese descent, originally from Fujian province in southeastern China. They settled along the coast of Malaysia mainly in Penang and Malacca, as well as parts of Thailand, Singapore and Indonesia. These days, they're famous for their incredible food, a popular Paranakan dish, Sambal Yudang is all about prawns. Whole prawns are sent swimming into a delicious pool of sambal chili paste that's flavored with prawn paste. The addition of tamarind juice gives it a tangy kick. Number 16. Sendawan Goreng, Fried Mushrooms. Deep fried fungus doesn't get better than this. One version, Sendawan Goreng, is typically peppered with chili or barbecue seasoning, giving it its own sass, eaten as an appetizer or snack with a meal or while on foot, this one will have you imagining what else you can fry and how else it can be seasoned. Number 17. Lemang, eaten with a meat or vegetable dish, lemang is glutinous rice mixed with coconut milk, which is cooked in bamboo. The time-consuming process to make lemang starts by lining hollowed-out shoots with banana leaves. The bamboo is left over a fire to slowly cook the rice in a process known as tapai. The result is sticky, wet rice that can, and regularly does, make a nice substitute for its plain Jane counterpart. Number 18. Assam Pedas is Naslina Hassan, founder of the popular Penang cooking school Naslina Spice Station, says it'd be outrageous not to include Assam Pedas on any short list of her country's best foods, a fish curry popular throughout peninsular Malaysia. It's commonly made with freshwater fish or stingray, Assam, 
which means tamarind, features heavily, along with ginger, shrimp paste, garlic, chilies, and other herbs. Number 19. Merbatak. This pan-fried bread stuffed with minced meat and onions and dipped in spicy sauce is a meal and a half, only recommended to the famished. Perfect murtabak is made with a robust amount of minced meat, so that the taste comes through on the first bite. So spicy sour it'll make your tongue curl. Number 20. Otakotak, perhaps named by someone with an offbeat sense of humor, Otakotak translates as brains in Malay, but it gets this graphic moniker from its appearance, not its taste or ingredients. This fish paste mixture of spices and diced onions is loosely wrapped in a banana leaf and barbecued over charcoal until the pinkish contents become warm and the leaves are slightly charred. No fuss or frills when it comes to eating picking at it straight from the leaf is the only way to do it.